Okay, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be, gonna be covering the Akash RPC node, and in specific, we're gonna be doing the CLI build. This is the most traditional build. There are other builds uh, out there available. Uh, some of them are quite a bit more simple to install, uh, and uh, I might go and do that at some point and make a video about those as well. But uh, the CLI build is the most traditional and the, in my opinion, the best way of uh, running an RPC node. If you plan on being a provider or a validator or running a, a provider or a validator, uh, it's the easiest to uh, to troubleshoot it uh, the fastest uh, and uh, yeah in my opinion the the, the best uh, way of running the node so without further ado let's uh, let's start uh, as you can see there's a, there are a number of steps to complete and uh, although there it seems a lot uh, they're actually pretty quick and simple to to follow so yeah I think that uh, uh, if we ignore that we need to download a relatively big snapshot uh, and unpack it that part will take I don't know half an hour or an hour or two hours I don't know it, it depends on, on your internet speed and the uh, 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 unpacking will take another again depends on, on the speed of your uh, your machine but it, it, it can take anywhere between five or ten minutes and up to a few hours so but uh, you don't need to do anything while that is being done so basically yeah we have work to do perhaps for five or ten minutes so let's start uh, step one I'm gonna be following the uh, Akash uh, official documentation uh, and uh, uh, I suggest you do the same. So uh, let's jump jump right into it. Um, most of the time, I'm just gonna be copying and pasting the commands directly from the uh, uh, from the documentation. So yeah, okay. That's step number one. Install zip. Second block of commands. Okay, we need to. Now I haven't uh, I haven't uh, specified that yet, but I'm running uh, an Ubuntu 22 server, uh, so that's the underlying operating system. Okay, that's done. Step one is already done. Step number two: add Akash install location to the user path. So we need to nano. Let's see environment okay and we need to add the slash root slash bin so I'm just gonna do that slash root slash bin and column okay save uh, source let's see environment okay step number three we need to choose a node moniker the node moniker is basically how your node will be known uh, and will differentiate from the other nodes on the on the network so you Roakash is what I've been going with uh, uh, during the uh, uh, in the uh, in the cloud provider build series so I'm gonna continue doing that as well and we need to uh, okay we need to initialize the new node that's step number four copy and paste the commands in the uh, documentation okay uh, we need to start the node okay step number five set the minimum gas price we need to nano dot Akash, Ak Akash config I think it's yeah in app Tomal and minimum gas price with minimum 
best prices. Here we go. It needs to be point. Let's just copy that from the documentation. That will be e that will be the easiest way, like this. Okay, save, exit, copy the Genesis file, and uh, you can ignore this. You can actually ignore this. This is uh, it doesn't mean anything. Step number seven: add seed and uh, peer nodes. We need to get the list. And we need to copy this, and then we go back to nano config dot toml, and we need to find. We were seed persistent persistent. We will look for persistent peers. Here we go. Paste that and then we need to go to uh, let's actually close this for now we'll come back to this and uh, we need to get a list of the peer nodes this one is a, quite a bit longer just copy the whole string and uh, again into the config config.toml and look for uh, persistent oh okay no 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 okay I made a mistake let's just uh, equals so I made a mistake the persistent peers needs to be like this and the uh, the other uh, the seeds needs to be different so let's just uh, get the seed nodes again copy nano seeds here we go paste and that's that. Uh, the RPC listening address is actually correct, if I'm not mistaken. I'll add the DR. Ah, it's not. So we need to. You need to change this in order for uh, other computers to be able to connect to your node. So it needs to be like this: zero 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 dot zero dot zero dot zero colon 26657 uh, if you leave it by default only the actual local machine will be able to use the node so yeah one moment someone's at the door okay next step number eight fast sync um, we need to basically just uh, enable the uh, fast sync so that uh, yeah it, it uh, fast fast sync equal true so it's uh, enabled basically by by default I mean it's uh, self-explanatory um, this will enable your node to sync really really fast and now actually we're getting to uh, to the part uh, where we need to first install JQ Okay, and uh, in case we already have this uh, this data, we need to remove it since this is a brand new machine. Uh, there's nothing in there, and uh, yeah, we need to download the the snapshot, the current snapshot. So ETA, if you as you can see, is 14 hours. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it uh, running this is at uh, 2 megabit megabytes per second um, yeah it's gonna take a while so um, but uh, I still suggest that you do the same simply because um, the actual sync if you sync from 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 zero from scratch it will take even longer way 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 longer so take your time if you have a really good internet connection this will take uh, a, a lot shorter yeah 
it can be even I don't know 10 20 minutes or half an hour so yeah so see you when this is done all right so the snapshot has been <coughs> downloaded it has been untarred and uh, we can now set up a start script okay so now we can start the the node uh, system kettle start akash node i think uh, in my case that uh, this node has already been started but uh, we'll start it nevertheless and uh, we can journal journal kettle dash u akash akash node dash f to see what's going on so here we go this is the output of the node running um, uh, yeah it seems like everything is okay uh, this looks pretty normal so here we go that's it um, we have a, a running Akash node in, in maybe 10 or 15 minutes uh, since we started uh, yeah it took 12 hours to download the uh, snapshot and uh, some half an hour to unpack it but uh, yeah this uh, this is really really quick and really really fast uh, now uh, just a few words before I end uh, you will want this to run on an SSD drive and you will want plenty of uh, space available of uh, free space available on this drive uh, I would suggest at least 500 gigabyte uh, even a terabyte uh, SSD or NVMe even better uh, would be uh, preferable uh, the database is uh, growing quickly so unless you want to uh, build this all over again a few months later uh, yeah make sure you have enough uh, uh, free space on your hard drive um, that's it thank you for viewing uh, if you have any questions please post them below uh, if you run into any issues uh, you can join the Akash community discord channel uh, we will gladly help you there uh, shout out to my buddies at Akash and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.